Hi, I'm R.G. Skadberg, attorney with CCSK Law. The law does a great job of making the confusing even more confusing. And one of the things that, that we do in our little corner of the world that would be called estate planning, uh, that we refer to as life planning, is use the term will twice. Um, and unfortunately, they have nothing to do with each other. Um, but, but people will just use the generic term will, and if, but, but we don't know what that means, right? So there's two uses of the term will. The living will, not only is it using the term will, which I don't like, it's, awfully, it's also a horribly named document because it has nothing to do with living. It has to do with end of life. This is the document that if something catastrophic happened, this gives the doctor's direction to say that you do not want to be artificially prolonged in your life, mechanically. So you're going to need it right at the beginning, even though you may never need it from an actual execution standpoint. Living will is medical, an important document to put in place because if you go to the hospital, they're going to ask if you have one. A last will and at its base level is your instructions to the court if you go through probate. My position is I don't want anybody to go through probate. So let's try to avoid probate altogether. That's part of planning. It's getting out in front of it. But part of a plan may include a last will just to make sure we provide cover for a complete plan end to end. It is not the only thing you need to do for a plan. A lot of people think, well, if I have a will in place, that's that's all I need. A lot of times people will call me and they'll start the conversation, I need a will. And I'll let that go. When I first started in law, I'd say, well, are you sure? And that would confuse people too much to, to continue on. So now what we say is, we'll talk about those things and we'll talk about other things that you might need, but we'll see if a will is a necessary part of your plan. So understand, A, Last will and living will, two completely different items. They have nothing to do with each other. They're not interchangeable. The number of times I hear them used interchangeably is baffling to me. Last will, really the primary purpose of it is to provide instruction to the court if you go through probate. We'll talk more about avoiding probate and what probate is in another video. But it is something that you should consider as part of your overall plan. It's not the end all be all, it's a part of your overall life plan. Be happy to help you. I don't charge for an initial consultation. If you just want to have some questions answered to understand what your options might be, give us a call 219-230-3600. And you can also visit our website, ccsklaw.com.